What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in this video I'm going to be going through permanently setting process priority in Windows 10. If you don't know what this is, but basically certain programs take up certain amounts of resources. And if you start up a more intensive program, such as a game, video editing software, etc, etc, it pulls from that pool. If resources are already taken, it can only take what's left. But if you set a higher process priority, it can take from other programs, slowing them down but speeding itself up and working better with limited system resources. This little trick mostly works for CPU or GPU intensive programs such as games, video editing software, etc, etc. Usually, you'd open up your task manager with Control shift escape or by right-clicking your start bar and clicking task manager. Then you'd simply locate the game in question, double-click on it as such if it has an expand arrow, right-click on the actual process itself and then click Go to details. When on this page over here, you can right click on the game, set priority and set to high or above normal to make sure that it can take as many resources from your computer as it needs. As you probably know, if you set a process priority here and you tap back into a game or you simply restart the process, sometimes that priority is reset back down to normal, meaning that other programs can take more resources instead of the one that you're trying to run with the best possible performance. I mostly find this important to set while using incredibly intensive games such as new AAA titles and recording them using something like OBS. If I set OBS higher, my game will lose FPS, but OBS will have a constant smooth stream. But if I'm going to make the game process higher, OBS will stutter as there's less system resources left and the game will run smoothly. Anyway, with that lengthy the explanation out of the way of what exactly it is, how exactly do we set process priority permanently in Windows 10? Well, we aren't able to do it with the built-in task manager that only lasts temporarily. But using third-party software, we can set it up to work forever. While there are hundreds of different programs that can do this, I'll be using Build 2's Process Manager. Simply check the first link down in the description below and you'll be taken across to this page over here, Build 2's Process Manager. I'll simply click on one of these and download it. Of course, you can also click the zip or portable version here if you don't want to install it. Note by doing this, you won't get a shortcut, it's just a zipped up folder. If you do download the zip, you'll open up something like this. Simply make a new folder on your desktop or somewhere else. I'll call it BPM. Simply select all of the files inside of the zip folder and drag them out into another folder where we can run the program from. Close out of the zip, open up the folder and simply select all of the language folders that isn't your native language. In my case, I'll be deleting every language folder except for English US. By doing this, we make sure the program launches in the correct language. Then all we have to do is simply open up processmanager.exe as administrator. Right click, run as admin. While I am quite sure this does work without being run in admin mode, I like to run it in admin mode just in case it needs anything extra. And now we have all of the processes that are currently running on my computer or at least are visible here. We can show hidden processes and hide unhandled ones with the two tick boxes up here if you don't see your process name. Simply locate the game or whatever you're trying to set the priority for, such as say OBS, right click on it, and then click create rule for this process and then you'll see this over here. Inside of here, we can tick the set priority button to set a custom priority, say for above normal, high, etc, etc. And we can also even set an affinity over here to tell it to use specific CPU cores or not to use the hyper-threaded cores indicated by HT. Pretty useful. You can of course also do this from the task manager, though it looks a little bit different. Under set affinity, we have all of the CPU processes as such. Then of course you can also set specific rules for when the window is minimized or hidden, special actions such as starting, inactivity, overactivity and closing the process and of course the final options tab over here for some other tooltips etc etc. I'll be checking these two over here, do not show a tooltip when priority or affinity is set and do not show a tooltip when applying automatic priority. This means that we simply won't get a pop-up when this program sets the priority of the program. We'll tap across to normal window, make sure we have whatever options we want, click OK and as you'll see in a moment, it's now been set to above normal. If I open up Task Manager, then locate OBS, right click on it, set priority, you'll see it's set to above normal. Cool, so it's working exactly as we expect. Now, as far as I know, this should work with other programs even while this is closed. So I'll go to Notepad++ and I'll set the priority to say above normal. And of course, if you'd like to edit custom rules later, you can of course right click the process and then click find associated rule for this process, select it from the list as such, and then double click on it to open it over here. So now that we've set notepad to above normal, let's go ahead and close the notepad window so that it disappears off of this list when we refresh. There we go. Let's go ahead and open up notepad. And there we have it. As you can see, it reset back down to normal. Why? Well, simply because we set the priority with this right click window over here and not a rule for the process. So creating a rule for it, set priority above normal, you'll see it's now updated on the list. 
above normal. Let's close out of it, refresh the list, and restart Notepad++. Upon doing this, you'll see it reappear on the list in just a moment, and it's set to above normal, as we expect. Let's go ahead and close out of Notepad, and we'll close out of the Process Manager. Now let's start up Notepad, and let's investigate it from the Task Manager. Notepad++, right-click, Set Priority, you can see it's set to Normal. But if we go ahead and make sure this program is open, then all of the processes that are open currently will have the rules applied to them and things will be updated. Because I opened it in non-admin mode, you can see processes running as administrator are appearing as red and we're unable to change them. Let's fix that quickly. Run as admin, and there we go. Notepad++ is running as above normal priority. So all you have to do is make sure that this program is open whenever you're starting up other programs. If you're playing a game, it should be fine to run in the background. I haven't run into any issues while playing any games, but of course, if you're playing a multiplayer game with a sensitive anti-cheat, this may not be the best thing to be running, and you should stick to the task manager method unless it's constantly setting back to a lower priority, resulting in worse performance on your computer. If it's absolutely crucial to change process priority in a game, then you can, of course, run this. Though, do be careful. If you're going to be changing the process priority of basically anything else on your computer without an anti-cheat, this is probably fine and good to leave running in the background. Of course, if you are going to be running it permanently and not in specific times, you should rather install it above downloading the portable version and putting it in somewhere like your desktop. We can of course also check performance and statistics to see a nice group of graphs as such for each processor. We can head across to statistics and we see a whole bunch of information over here. And statistics of applications, we can see how many times each program has been started since the start of today. Pretty useful. Opening up the options menu, we can see just how much there is to this program that we haven't even got into. We can see that they've got a list of exceptions that should have the priorities never lowered. This should include most games, I would assume, and some other specific programs. So there's a huge amount to this program, including skins over here, which is pretty cool. So with all that aside, this program is really, really useful, especially if you need to change process priority on the regular and it possibly resets sometimes. Now, before we end this video over here, even though that's about it for this program, let's quickly get into a final tip before we go anywhere. We can use a bit of Kodi magic to make programs launch as whatever priority we want by using shortcuts. This is a bit more complicated, but of course doesn't require third-party software to be downloaded and of course only applies when the program is started. If it never changes while the process is running, that's great. Simply right-clicking somewhere like your desktop, New, followed by Create Shortcut, we can type in the location of a program. Let's quickly find one. I'll right-click on, say, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, More, Open File Location, and because this is a shortcut, we'll do it once again. Right-click, Open File Location. Now that we're inside of here, I can copy the folder's location, paste it into the shortcut window, add a backslash, and click Browse to open up this window here. Of course, we can just click Browse and navigate to it ourselves, but this way is a bit easier. Then we'll locate the correct item, which for me is Black Ops Cold War Launcher. I'll hit OK. And now that we've got this here, you'll see it's added quotation marks to each side of this. At the very beginning, before the first quotation mark, I'll type in CMD space forward slash C space start space followed by two quotation marks space forward slash and then the priority that we want to run it as, which can be low, below, normal, normal, above normal, high, and of course, real time, though you should never really use this. I'll leave it at say, high. Then after hitting OK or clicking enter, we'll give it a name. I'll call it BOCW, high. Clicking finish, you can see the shortcut over here. Of course, the icon's a bit wrong. We can, of course, right click properties, change icon, browse, find the program once again, and then double click on the EXE, followed by OK and OK to give it the correct icon. After doing this, whenever we launch up this program, we should see that inside of Task Manager, it's launching as high priority. Though I don't think this exact example will work, as this process seems to launch up the Blizzard launcher, and then the Blizzard launcher launches up the actual game. So it may not work exactly correctly for this, but it should work for most games and applications. Though some specific launchers, like Blizzard over here, may have some issues. Who knows, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but this is a little workaround that's mostly designed for normal programs that don't use third-party launchers, such as this Blizzard launcher over here. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful enough. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.